and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Mardu mid-range. I've been wanting to play this deck again. I've been wanting to play some Mardu. We haven't played too much Mardu recently. We've been doing a little bit um, with like the, the Mardu uh, Path of Metal deck, the Mardu Metal deck. That that deck's a lot of fun. This deck is is more of a mid-range deck, like more of, of a value deck where it's all about recursion. You can see our, our four mana Planeswalkers is what this deck's built around. We have Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord that can minus and bring back creatures from our graveyard to the battlefield and a Johnny Adversary Tyrants that gets to minus two and return creatures with CMC two or less from our graveyard to the battlefield. So that's what our deck's built around. We, we have all of these creatures, as you can tell, all of our cards of one, two, and three mana in our main tech are all creatures that we're trying to just kind of get out to the battlefield um, early, like trade off with the opponent and everything, and then slam our four mana creatures and get them back. Play crafters work really well with like Tithe Taker and Remadi Reveler, even sacrificing those. Or just, you know, just playing a play crafter, sacking the play crafter. I mean, it works great with Midnight Reaper, of course. You make your opponent sacrifice something, and then the next turn, Soren, bring back play crafter. Can be really nice against opponents that are knocked, that are not going wide. Um, our top end, I'm going to try Cavalier of Night. This is a card that I haven't played in this deck before. I had main deck. I had a main deck massacre girl last time. Instead, uh, I'm gonna try Cavalier of Night because of how well it works with all of these cheap creatures. Uh, to help it out, um, putting in a Temple of Silence here instead of a main deck mountain. Uh, you know, we had a had a main deck mountain to help with these two drops before. But I'm gonna. You know, we need another black source. I think with the Cavalier of Night. Um, but then I also have always really liked Angrath. You know, stealing stealing your opponent's creature. Uh, it's always been pretty good. It's just a good good value engine with the, the tick up against control decks. Um, always liked that card. So we got one of those. And then, of course, Command the Dread Horde. Bring back a lot of stuff. Soren can give you a lot of lifelink and uh, then allow you to have enough life to be able to pay for a big Command the Dread Horde. Our sideboard is really where we have, uh, where we can tune our deck depending on what our opponent's doing. You know, if they're playing aggro, we got Legion's End. If they're playing green, we got green. We got noxious grasp. We're even like Esper control. We got noxious grasp. Disparks are perfect. Are like our card against wilderness reclamation and Tamio against like the nexus decks, um, and then also you know just good against like your cavaliers and your your rocks and your golos and stuff like that. I kind of wanted to play a third Dispark instead of the second noxious grasp, but ended up going two and two. But we'll see. That that's a spot that that certainly could be uh, necessary to get a third one in there. Blood Sun's pretty obvious. Um, you know, Nexus and Field of the Dead. <clears throat> Othakaya um, is is a card that I kind of want in the main deck, uh, as we we're talking about here. Um, like one Othakaya, I think could could be pretty good in the main deck. I'm not sure exactly where I'd fit it in. Like maybe instead of the fourth Tithe Taker, maybe, or I'm not sure exactly where I'd fit it in. But it does a good job of of gaining life and like making it difficult for your opponent to attack your Planeswalkers especially if you're putting pressure on them already because of that trigger, and it just gives you all this extra life for Command the Dread Horde as well. I like Othakaya quite a bit, but we have it in here for aggro. Um, you know, Massacre Girl against, like, Nissa Dex, and then another Angrath for control and Command the Dread Horde for control as well. So let's give this a try. We're going to be playing four matches in ranked today. Oh, also, um, we're doing four matches with all of our decks today. <clears throat> uh there's zero chance that I'm taking out a Planeswalker. All seven of the Planeswalkers are very, very necessary. I'm not, not cutting any of the Planeswalkers for Othakaya. Um, no, like they're, they're our best cards. Um, but also, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you probably don't know, but my, as you can tell, like there's no sound with the game. Uh, I just had a Windows update that messed up a lot of my sound settings. So hopefully you can still hear me, but that's it as far as sound for today, unfortunately. So no... No game sounds. We don't get to hear a Johnny's awesome voice lines, which is unfortunate. All right, so we do have triple black for Cavalier of Night. Um, I'm going to get rid of Dire Fleet Daredevil. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should get rid of Cavalier of Night. It's definitely one of those two. We're keeping our three lands. We're keeping Knight of the Ebon Legion. We're keeping Remadi Reveler. Um... This card can just be pretty powerful for us, and we already have triple black. I think I, 
I think I go this way. Because Daredevil is the kind of card that is really good against like Thought Erasure decks, but not necessarily good against everything in the book. And if we, if like our first two draw steps, we don't, if we didn't draw lands our first two draw steps, we could ditch the Cavalier of Night to the Remadi Reveler also. Hmm. All right, so we're playing against vampires. This is kind of a tough call. I'm going to keep Dragon Skull Summon. I'm going to keep Midnight Reaper. So now we're either getting rid of the Blood Crypt or the Cavalier of Night. If I get rid of the Blood Crypt, the Cavalier of Night may be dead in hand. But if I get rid of the Cavalier of Night and then we draw like more lands, we may just flood out. I think I'm going to go with the Blood Crypt. All right, good call. Because flooding out is our easiest way to lose from this situation. Like, if I ditch the Blood Crypt and we only draw spells, we still have, like, three mana, and then we still have spells in that scenario. Hey, Borderan. Yeah, so if anybody in chat can can help out with for with uh, Casper's deck here. The graveyard hating Esper control. Hmm. I don't want to just block like this. Puts them down to 10 and taps them out. I draw two cards. Knight of the Ebon Legion grows again. Thanks, Serana. Hmm. That was not a deal from the three cards after we had the Tithe Taker. I really wanted another two drop to be able to play with Tithe Taker. The second and third Midnight Reapers, not so good. So now I, I block. Oh gosh. That is awful. So I was going to be able to block a Danto Vanguard, make them pay another four life, and then, you know, Cavalier of Night sack the, the token and kill the Knight of the Ebon Legion. That was going to be nice. That Legion's end. Ugh. Of course, I, I put the Daredevil down to the bottom. Daredevil would be so clutch right now. So like, let's say I play Midnight Reaper here. It just means like I'm just like chumping the Knight of the Ebon Legion for a turn and taking three, and then they get to, you know, have their their turn to spend more mana and get farther ahead on the battlefield. And I'm just 
Uh, I'm just not in it at that point. Okay, okay. Yeah, night is pretty busted. We had our own night also. But these Legion's ends have been killer. I need you, Daredevil. Why'd I get rid of you? Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good call, Bucks. Yeah. Bucks said, uh, Night of the Ebon Legion's the reason why they stopped playing Grixis Control and went to mid-range because of the strength of Knot of the Ebon Legion, how it's a great mana sink. It's like kill it or... To kill it or die to it. Threat for just one mana. So I'm down to four. You know, Soren can put me down to one. Yay, Choop. Yay, Playcrafter. Yay, Daredevil. Oh, I need so much more mana. Oh, they just had to back up Soren. Man, I was about to... <laughs> I was about to take over. Found all of our removal. What is going on with Arena today? What's going on with just the computer? All right, I guess we have to Alt F4. The screen's just frozen. You can see my cool Blood Sun background. The only good thing that's happened today. What's up, Vorpal? As far as computer-wise. Y'all are all cool being in here. All right, so our own Legion's Ends, Oath of Kaya's, and Grath. Do I want Massacre Girl? Question. Probably not. Right? Like, like their creatures just get too big for Massacre Girl, right? Maybe not. I don't want all three Midnight Reapers. That was rough. Take out a Command the Dread Horde. Um, am I supposed to play the second Angrath? Maybe not. Maybe I just don't play Angrath. Like, Angrath, you know, it's just five mana removal. For the cheaper stuff. I guess I am probably supposed to play Masker Girl. We'll take out Angrath. And then uh, minus an Ajani. Maybe minus the other two Midnight Reapers. I guess I gotta hurry. Ooh, that was close. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, are we going to draw lands? If so, this hand works pretty well. If we don't draw lands, this hand's not going to work. We got 25 in here. I think we try it. Yeah, I just I uh, just Google searched. I just typed in like Blood Sun wallpaper. MTG Blood Sun wallpaper. That's what I searched. And I grabbed a couple. I went, I went with Blood Sun. Um, thought about like Vivian's Arcbow or Nicol Bolas Dragon God. There was a really good Nicol Bolas Dragon God one. There wasn't really like any good Throne of Eldraine one. I was going to put a Throne of Eldraine thing, but... Blech. I guess I do lose to that card, too. When I kept my hand. I guess there was the I lose to Legion's End part of my hand. Hooray. All right, well, we got a Legion's End. It's a good card. Two Legion's Landing and a Mortify. I'd like to draw Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil would be nice. Daredevil would be really nice. Okay. Um, I guess I just play Soren. If I shock in and play Cavalier of Night, obviously they just mortify the Cavalier of Night. I don't get anything back. I guess I just play Soren. Soren's just gonna die over a couple of turns, but it's gonna gain, you know, like eight life there and who knows, maybe they don't. We I mean we need another smaller creature. Alright, yeah, so maybe they doesn't. Maybe they don't kill it. We need another smaller creature. Oh my gosh. That was just the best card they could possibly have. That's magic for you. Sometimes nothing works out. What is going on here? All right, so we did Alt F4 there. We may need to, oh no, it's, it's working. I was gonna say we may need to just exit, you know, to reset. You know, it's happened in the past. When you Alt F4 during a match, then you have to, then it doesn't let you join another one. You have to reset. Hey Sharky, all good. Yeah, the, Mid-range or big green deck that I can slightly edit to make it rotation proof. Like a, a ramp deck? Just like you want like mono green aggro? Or like a or I've like played like elemental ramp decks. Oh thanks, Sharky. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, the, the Legion's Ends got me real bad. And my deck did not did not help me at all. That's all good. All right, let's see.
Moo Yanling. Pet Taker is nice. It's best to try to save um, Remodi Reveler as long as you can. You know, not only do you not only do you have the ability to spectacle, of course, the the longer that you wait, but then you also, uh, you know, if you can wait for it to be your last card, you get to spectacle it. But then also just even the first part, if you know what. Um, It, or like the longer you wait, then you know what you really need, and so you know what you can discard, like what you do, like what cards you don't need. No, yeah, these are not rotation proof decks. Um, all right, go Angrath, go. So they're stuck on lands. Because, you know, they played Moo on three, Othakaya on four, Teferi on five, draw a card, and they still haven't played another land. So they're stuck on lands, which means they have plenty of cards in hand to start discarding. Hmm. I think I'm just going to be playing Judith here. Maybe I'll just play Cavalier of Night, actually. Yeah, let's play Cavalier of Night. Possible if we draw a land next turn, I could go like Judith, you know, like land Judith and Remodi Reveler with Spectacle. And if they have like a Kaya's Wrath, Cavalier of Night gets back like Tithe Taker or, or something, so I don't have to be too upset about a Kaya's Wrath. Oh, I should, I should have played Judith first. <clears throat> could have dealt an extra damage. Yep. I don't want to play Knight of the Ebon Legion, though. This is the kind of awkward part about not wanting to overextend into Kaya's Wrath, but then also wanting to empty your hand for the Reveler. Just kind of awkward. But yeah, I could have could have dealt one more damage and gained one more life. I am fairly confident that the game's not going to go to like the one point's going to make the biggest difference but we'll see Ooh, love it it's just a great card Getting the tight taker back because again it's more more pressure if there's a Kai's Wrath. Uh, we still get the token and everything. Yeah, they'll run out to fairies eventually. Discard and Moo. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna so this is our sixth to fairy to kill. Do I do that? Nah. We'll attack this way.
All right, six Teferis are, are gone. <laughs> yeah, Othakaya is awesome. Did a lot of work for them, but in the end, it didn't even mind over matter. If we if we bring in Oth like I kind of don't mind having Othakaya's in here in this matchup. Othakaya's can shoot those three mana planeswalkers. It's not like the best thing ever, but I don't mind it. Probably don't need it though. So this is like the 60 that I'm thinking about going with here. Um, maybe Othakaya instead of like Judith. I don't love Judith. Like they should have like Legion's End, of course. Um, and just other, you know, like other rats and everything. Not even Legion is, is a pretty good card, but it's also just a creature that gets one for one. Um, as you see, like Tithe Taker doesn't necessarily get one for one. Neither is Daredevil or Reveler or like, you know, basically anything else. Um, Cavalier of Night. Maybe we take that out for Othakaya. I do like how Cavalier of Night gets something back, though. I'm just going to try this. Yeah, I got to keep the bugged timer in mind. Good, good call, good call. These Planeswalkers are so good, but everything costs four or more. Just going to five cards is bad, but, you know, Daredevil is a four-mana spell. It's Daredevil always just comes with Thought Erasure um, attached. And then a Johnny's four-mana, Soren's are four-mana, Mangrass five-mana. I'll try it. Let's give it a go. No, this is silly, but I want to see a spell that's like 3 GG and makes 5 foods and has all foods become 1-1 one, one creatures that fight a creature opponent controls. You want food fighting? Food fights? Food fights? Midnight Reaper and Soren are such a good combination. They're like, all right, we're going to kill your Midnight Reaper. And it's like, well, Soren just brings it back. Guess I'm going to play Crafter that, though, first. I don't want them to make a token. Because Play Crafter and Soren are also a good combination. So they just play like a five mana to fairy. We can go Soren and bring that back. All right. Um, Soren's like my best play here, Soren Midnight Reaper. But they could just have Negate. Yeah, they may just be negating. Just Tithe Taker, Tithe Taker just isn't, you know, very exciting, doesn't do a whole lot. You know, just negating. Yeah, of course you can, yeah, of course you can post a link. You're good. Hmm.
was a weird block. All right. I'll just play this thing. So it's not a May as far as exiling goes, because yeah, I saw that submit zero was not an option. So exiling is not a May. No, not the Othakai, I killed my Soren. Darn. Ooh, piece of candy. Stop getting rid of my Sorens. They're just not playing anything that kills their planeswalkers, unfortunately. Hey, Chief Seth. Good evening. Cool, thanks, Chris. Yeah, I'll check that one out. I saved the list and everything. I'll check it out. All right. Um. Ooh, best of luck over there, Guam, for your next assignment there, Chief. What about a spell that makes food, each food explode and deal one damage to each non-flying creature? Maybe makes a food first also. That could be a spell. Yeah, that could be a spell. That works pretty well. for a spell. All right, so they just got two cards. We have two lethal attackers at Teferi. Hopefully this works. Hooray. Teferi's out of here. And in case of Kaya's Wrath, we have Midnight Reaper in place. We draw four cards.
I know, right? Stealing the stealing opponent's creatures is pretty rude. Opponent's being rude over there with that hostage taker. Uh, stop with these Othakayas. <clears throat> yeah, I always liked a Johnny too. Yeah. And so it, all the recur, recursive elements of this deck is pretty fun. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice the uh, Remodi Reveler. Do one damage over there. Kill that thing. So now if they did draw a removal spell, I know I'm just like overdoing it, but I don't. They do have a removal spell. This Teferi dies. Okay, it's dead. Reveler is a good one to have in the graveyard though to get back with a Johnny or get back with Cavalier Knight or anything like that. Looks like they flooded out. GG's. All right, deck, the deck doing what it's supposed to do. I think Esper, Esper is a match. Esper is a matchup that we want to kind of be facing. I think that's that's one that we can outgrind whenever we draw our planeswalkers. We did a good job of drawing our planeswalkers, and they were awesome for us. Yeah, I know, right? Mythic Rare, 40 gems. It's like, can I, can I just have the Mythic Rare? That's a feels feels bads for sure. We're playing we're playing Mardu mid range right now. Yeah, so three in a red. Create one food token, then sacrifice all. Or create one food, then sacrifice all food you control. And deal one damage to each creature without flying for each food sacrifice this way. If you use three red mana to pay for this spell, make three food tokens instead for that thing. That's pretty cool. I like it. So we can tell that we're going to be able to discard a land to the Reveler, but still it's it's best to lead with Tithe Taker just for more information. And yeah, they shock Tithe Taker instead of shocking Reveler, where we still get the 1-1. One, one. This looks like Boros Feather. That's the deck that I'm assuming it is. Yeah, Tithe Taker is good against um, Feather also. So it makes, makes sense that they wanted to get rid of it because, yeah, it is good there. Because then they have to hold up two mana to have God's Willing Protection during my turn and so on. So many lands. So 
So many lands. <laughs> Night is so busted it even makes flooding an enjoyable experience. True. If somebody uses Rabid Bite with a black creature, do I God's willing to protect from green or from black? Uh, does Rabid Bite fight? If it fights, it doesn't It doesn't matter. You can do either one. I mean, just choosing green, you're good. Um, but then black... Yeah, if it fights, if it fights, you want to choose black. If it just deals the damage, you want to choose green. But yeah, because you can you can say black because then they'll fight and yours won't won't uh, won't take damage, but theirs will take damage. If basically, either one, your creature will not die. No matter which one of those two you use. Okay, get the three lifelink. And do I want a minus four and just grab Chupacabra? I kind of do. But then my Soren's gone. I kind of want to just grab Chupacabra. but we got the lifelink attack in first. Correct. You cannot dive down your own Ceratops because it protects from blue. You can't, t Ceratops can't be targeted by any blue spell whatsoever. Whoops. doesn't matter if it's you or your opponent. You can't quasi-duplicate your Ceratops. Doesn't work. So they go on lifelink. All right, so they're at nine. If I block. No, we're not blocking. They're not winning this race anymore. Yeah, main board Gideon and Feather is pretty, pretty popular. I'm really glad we don't see any Feathers. Oh no, they have main deck Honor Guard. Honor Guard stops me so bad. Honor Guard is just the worst card I can possibly see. Alert deck, draw a spell, please. All right, well, it's a spell. Uh, we are dead. If they attack out, I'm dead. Yeah, it was the, the 9 to 5 land ratio here. I mean, really, it's 10 lands for us. We discarded a land also, so we drew 10 lands. Uh, they didn't attack out, but I'm still dead. Yeah, it was the draw twice as many lands, 10 to 5. That can happen in Magic. All right, well, I don't know if Massacre Girl is really that... 
good here. It's great against the Danto Vanguard and you know, good against the war boss that's already activated, but they have a a lot of their threats are not Adanto Vanguard. So I don't think I want Massacre Girl. Don't want Command the Dread Horde. Um you know, we have a lot of good spells if we would have drawn spells. Let's take out one of Johnny. And the tith the Daredevils. Um Daredevils can be okay. But they're not spectacular. Maybe, you know, like, maybe the minus four on the Sworn wasn't the thing to do. Maybe I should have just minus two'd and grab a Tithe Taker that could block. And then I'd be able to minus one again. I mean, that, that could have been where I lost it, was that minus four on the Sorin. Let's see. I cut a lot of cards still. Maybe a Reaper, the Angrath. Man, I really like Angrath, though. Maybe I have to get rid of the Ajani's. Kind of trimming some stuff. Judith isn't super impactful. Uh, there's Midnight Reaper. Gonna trim up, trim both of those, and I guess a couple Revelers. Even the Reveler is like my flood insurance card. It's good, good Reveler here. <laughs> Wonder if I was supposed to just take out Knight of the Ebon Legions. Is that possible? That's, that's probably not right, right? Probably not right. Sniper with a sub. Ready to get some hype butts in the channel for Sniper? Thank you so much. Ooh, that's sub number eight. Looks like I was behind one. There. Thanks, Sniper. I appreciate that support. All right, so no God's Willing right now. Let's choop it up. Of course, Playcrafter does a great job of getting around God's Willing, but I like choopin' it here so we can get some more power in play. Many lands. Um, Glad I got that Playcrafter out of here. It's going to be pretty tough. That was an amazing turn for them. Come on, deck. Hooray! Thank you, deck. No, not more feathers. Okay, they are not defiantly striking.
Hmm. Well, good game, I suppose. Feather is so hard to beat, especially when they have three of them. <laughs> I killed so many creatures. Man, I did kill a lot of creatures. Got rid of five creatures. But they had their third feather in the top 14 cards. GG. Same thing as last game. I draw all these lands. Yeah, we're playing 25 lands. Can we draw another Playcrafter, please? Well, that's close. Close-ish. All right, no God's Willing. Don't get to Defiant Strike or bring it back. We have a shot still. No, Deckmaster should not be broken as far as I know. People in chat have to help you out. Like if you're if you're in chat and people ask if Deckmaster is broken, you if you're in chat you have to be able to answer. Because I, I can't tell, honestly. Like I can never tell if it's working or not working, but as far as I know it's working. So that's that's just also for so thank thanks y'all. Y'all are saying it's working. Okay. Yeah, so if if you're in chat and, and you see somebody ask about like ask that if if Deckmaster is working or not. Y'all have to answer because I I don't know. All right, so if I minus to try to steal Arcanist, but they have God's willing, then I, I get, you know, like, I'm just trading Angrath for God's Willing. That's not a good trade for me. If I could plus and try to get rid of their hand, which could have, like, God's Willings and stuff. And go on the race plan as well. Like, right now, it's like Shock is what they're getting back. I guess gird for battle, but you know, like shock doesn't kill Angrath, so we get another activation. Hey, Candice. Yeah, I'm feeling well. Ooh, Oath of Kaya. That's a good draw. Prevent the next three damage. Gain three life. All right, so we cannot kill them with Othokaya, but I can kill this Arcanist. 
I'm just going to do that. Because we would not kill them. Hooray! We're going to game three. It only took us killing millions of creatures. Yeah, healing, healing grace. By the healing grace of that card, they died to the Othakaya. Tithe Taker doesn't really look too important. It does, you know, it does make it more difficult for them to play their protection spells on my turn. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I really like Sultai Treachery. I still think it's good. We just, we lost to a couple aggro decks. But yeah, Sultai Treachery was good. Yeah, Angrath is lose life, not deal damage. So they, they prevented the damage for, from the Tithe Taker with Healing Grace. Hmm. I'm going to play another Ajani over a Knight of the Ebon Legion. I think they can go over the top of Knight of the Ebon Legion pretty effectively. Yeah, it's it's already up. Yeah, it is up on YouTube, the Sultai Treachery League is. Um, but no, no changes since last time we played it, I don't think. All right. I think some, something would change something... But I don't remember what. But nothing really. Like, you know, maybe like a one card difference kind of thing. Nothing big. Hey, Lastor, thank you so much. Yeah, I usually play music here on the channel. Usually do. Thanks, Lastor. I think our deck's gonna draw us a whole lot of spells. Getting us a sub goal. Gift them out two subs to Roach. Or no, oh, last was continuing the gifted sub, continuing the sub they got from from Roach Deity. That's what it was. Sorry, it just popped up twice. But still, thank you so much, Laster. Good, yeah, and this month is, or for the next few weeks is September, where the subs are uh, half price. So deck is good for grinding to level 100 before rotation. Um, I have I have four decks that I put up on my stream decker page for grinding in that that format. Um, I like Chandra Tribal the most out of them, but the Cavalcade deck is maybe a little faster grinding. But I, I recommend like the Mono Red decks, the Chandra Tribal and the Cavalcade. If you're doing the grinding XP. I guess I should just play a Daredevil. Hey, Gold Dead Ringer. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub as well. Thanks for that support. So yeah, I apologize for no sound on right now. There's with my Windows update. I'd, um, a lot of my sound settings are messed up. Well, why did it just change to 10 out of 20? There we go. Hit that sub goal. Thank you so much there, Gold Dead Ringer. And And I'll mark that down. The sub goals, what they do is uh, get us towards our next 12 hour stream. What? 
They just want the scry. Gotcha. Okay, they want the scry. Reasonable. But yeah, if they would have paid the four life, which is what I was hoping, then that would have triggered my Knight of the Ebon Legion. It would have made Knight a 2-3. That's what I was hoping, so Knight wouldn't die to shock. Man, Honor Guard shuts down my deck so, so much. So hoping to draw like a, whoa. They gotta have removal then. They gotta have instant speed removal. Yeah, they gotta have like a shock. I think I'm going to risk it. That also works. Because we can just minus the Soren and get stuff back too. I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna have Daredevil block Adanto Vanguard. Make them pay for life again. Keep on making them pay for life. <laughs> yeah, our, our draw is kind of having a mess. I mean, this is just really obvious blocks. They have Reckless Rage. They can have the Legionnaire do damage to the Knight, that, that Knight over there. Yep. So if I minus, I have to just block the Vanguard if I minus. <clears throat> so I'm going to tick up so I don't have to block. So next turn I can minus. I 
They're down to one card. Yeah. That's a terrible one card for me to see. I guess I do have to block. Attacked there pretty quickly. Hey, Sothian. All right, well, I'll take a play. I'll trade Playcrafter for God's Willing plus get a block in. That's a, that's a good trade. That's a really good trade. All right, what do they got? Better not be a Legion's End. All right, Feather. Well, yeah, he said not blocking was lethal, but we don't we don't know what their last card was. We, like I didn't know. After after we blocked, we found out that that if I didn't block, it would have been lethal, but we couldn't know that beforehand because they still had a card in hand. They could have just been another creature. GGS. All right, turns out that Knight of the Ebon Legion card, pretty good. Especially when you get to keep on bringing it back over and over and over with the help of Soren. Turns out lots of Knight of the Ebon Legions. Really good. All right, we're playing one more match. We're, just, we're playing four matches with our decks today. With each deck in ranked. So let's play one more. Hopefully go 3-1. Yeah, that is true. That's a move. That's a good point. That's why the card is named Soar In, because it brings the cards back into the into the battlefield. It's not Soar Out. Nice cardboard. That's yeah. That's a good one. The feather rotation proof deck for t for the standard twenty twenty. That's a good pick right there. Yeah, good call. So Temple of Malady, maybe I should just be throwing down Daredevil immediately. We'll kind of see what they got. Temple of Malady isn't necessarily the most spell-heavy deck. Game one. All right, I have no clue what's going on anymore. I don't know what's going on. So... I'm definitely playing Knight. I don't know if I should be playing Daredevil. Who, who plays Temple of Malady, Hallowed Fountain, Baffling End? I don't know. I'll just save it. You're 20 and 2 with that deck? That is pretty good. Bounce Baffling End? Nope.
All right, Dev Daredevil, just chill in the graveyard. <clears throat> Good place to reanimate it. Oh, duh. I just forgot about Field of the Dead. It's been just so long since we played Field of the Dead. I forgot about Field of the Dead. Been, by been so long, I mean we haven't played against Field of the Dead today. So yeah, that's that. That's who plays Temple Hollow Fountain is Field of the Dead. Duh. All right, I'm going to start attacking their hand. Like, the less cards they have, the harder it is to keep hitting land drops. You know, like, which Field of the Dead, all you, know, all you want to do is hit land drops. So getting cards out of their hand is pretty vital. So that's why I went this way. I know I could have, you know, activated my Knight to kill Teferi. I could have stolen their 1-1 one, one and then killed Teferi with the, the minus. But I think that every tick up is really valuable. So kind of expecting, you know, kind of expecting circuitous route. This is kind of a, a check for circuitous route here. Unfortunately, they did have it. I was hoping they didn't. But they did. If I just attack in, I'm getting blown out. Am I trading knight for three creatures? The answer is yes. Yes, I am. So they just go no block and then attack out at Angrath. Yeah. And I'm in, in trouble-ish. Especially if they bounce play crafter, that's that's the worst case scenario. They get rid of play crafter. Okay, good. We get to untap with Angrath, that's good. But still not feeling great about the game. That circuitous route was pretty rough. Yeah, we're not winning this. Cavalier can do some good things against two twos, but triple field of the dead. All right, the game's over. So post board, I've got to have these things. That's not a bad card either. Oh yeah, get these things in. And those. And oh, the Kai may be good here. All right, here's our 75. What don't we want to play? Disparcus for Golos. 
Just Marcus Regolos. Yeah, so Playcrafter, Judith. Those are gone. And a Johnny is gone. Daredevils are gone. Cavalier of Night. Tithe Taker, the, the best part about Tithe Taker is turning on like Masker Girl. That's not spectacular either. Hmm. This isn't really making me feel like we're a Command the Dread Horde deck. No, Command's probably still good. Maybe we just want the one. Let's try this. I like Soren a lot. Um, but yeah, maybe I maybe I could have taken out the the fourth Soren for one a Johnny kind of thing. But I do like they minus uh, Teferi. We get to kill Teferi. Soren's tick up. Soren's a, a good card against Teferi. I'm playing 60. We got 53 in hand. Or 53 in the deck and 7 in hand. 60. Yeah, QQ. We get opt back. That's a good a good reprint. Good solid reprint there. All right, looking for Blood Sun. Looking for Blood Sun. Hmm. Blood Sun's not showing up. So I want to have Chupacabra for Golos. I don't even know if I was, like, maybe I shouldn't have Othakai in this matchup. I'm just thinking that if they're attacking my uh, Planeswalkers, that Othakai can gain us a good amount of life. And, like, with, like, the triggers, it could, could swing a race. But maybe not. Also... All this exile stuff is pretty bad for me to be seeing against, um, or like with with my with all my stuff that wants to be reanimating. Can we get to a Johnny ultimate? Maybe a Johnny ult. Yeah, as far as I know, the M20 standard event is going until rotation, so it'll be up for a while. Sounds not working today. That card is so great. Such a good card. So good news is we do get to put our opponent down to three, and we have an Othakaya in hand.
So if they don't have gain life lands, that's the bad news. There are gain life lands in standard. They may also have Veil of Summer. You never know. Or a Negate. Hooray. And that's why I brought in Othakaya for when my opponent would stabilize at three. Perfect. What would I want to bring in for, if I take out the fourth Soren, what would we even want to bring in? Like second Ajani or the Command of the Dread Horde? Yeah, I could see going three Soren to Ajani. Here. Command's not really too slow. I mean, they're a real slow deck, too. That's what they're trying to do is win the really long game, and Command the Dread, Dread Horde helps us in that aspect. I don't know why I kept this so fast. This is not a good hand. Didn't get any better. This is not a good hand. I should have mulliganed. All right, hand got a little better. Hand's getting better. Ugh, that card's broken. Yuck. All right, I want to draw Blood Sun or White Mana Source. Preferably Blood Sun, if not White Mana Source. But hopefully Blood Sun. Yuck. Well, I guess we have to play that, but would have preferred Blood Sun. So I think we just Chupacabra instead of Dispark. Because then that gives me two creatures in play to tick up on with a Johnny. Yeah. I'd still like to draw Blood Sun. Just like before, that's still my best thing to be drawing.
Blair. Time wipe, time wipe, grow spiral. Let's where are you at? Time wipe is pretty great here. Pick an up rejuvenator, kill my chupacabra, get multiple tokens. You know, play rejuvenator back, get at least two tokens unless they hit. Another Field of the Dead. I mean, we just have to draw Blood Sun. We have three of them. Can't find it, though. Yeah, opponent's deck is just, this would be just referred to as, like, probably Golos, Field of the Dead. I think that's what it would be referred to as. It is an annoying deck to play against. So the Angrath's going to die either way. I'm going to get rid of this Rejuvenator, where if we draw a Legion's End, you know, we get rid of these things, but then also not let them pick up Reju pick Rejuvenator back up. But they got this Arch of Orozco now also. Can we just please draw Blood Sun? Just draw one of our three Blood Suns, please. Nope. We've had a pretty good league for how bad we've drawn. We've been doing pretty well. Arch of Orozco is just destroying us. So we're down to three. I don't, I don't really have any outs right now. Even Masker Girl doesn't uh, do anything. Okay, now Masker Girl does something. Thanks for playing the Rejuvenator. Now we can draw Masker Girl. Blood Sun into Masker Girl. <laughs> How about another land? And how great would Blood Sun into Masker Girl be? That would have been pretty great. All right, another two and two. For us... I knew that going into this, I knew that uh, the Field of the Dead decks were going to be tough for us because we are a slower deck trying to play a late game with all of the um, 
with all the uh, uh, recursion. But that's that's kind of the problem with sideboarding there with having like the, all the different spells in the deck after sideboarding. We saw that uh, not having anything to recur or really to do with a Johnny and Soren there. That can happen, but that just happens when you flood out also. Um, but yeah, we're, we're relying on drawing those Blood Suns. I mean, that those decks are just really hard to to defeat uh, in the late game. But that's Mardu Midrange. Besides that, still a fun deck to play. I really like the Esper match was a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, we had a couple of other good ones as well. Uh, the Feather match was definitely, that was a pretty good match too. Um, but uh, the Esper match in particular, I think that's, that's where we really got to see our deck shine. But there we go. That's Mardu Midrange. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And feel free to leave comments. I love seeing the, the comments that you guys leave over there on YouTube. But um, that's it here from Mardu Midrange. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.